Hey everybody, Stephanie Madsen. I am a team leader with Usborne Books and More, and today we're going to talk about some tips for raising readers. And first of all, why is that even important? Why do we care about raising readers and making, helping children love, learn to love books? I'm gonna read you a quote from Kira Lynn. She is the publisher at Kane Miller Publishing, one of the publishing houses whose books we sell at Usborne Books and More. And this is what Kira said. She said, children's books lift kids up. They empower them. They also keep kids grounded. Books are how children escape, and they're also how kids deal with staying right where they are. Books show kids how to survive and also how to thrive. They introduce children to new people, to new ways of thinking and seeing. They take them places. Children's books are an opportunity for a greater life, not a lesser one. Books don't just help kids become who they're going to be, Books make them better, they just do. And kids who read make the world better. That's why children's books are important. So here are some five tips for raising a reader. Number one, make books accessible. So you want to have different places around your house that your children are exposed to books. Here's something for you to think about in terms of making books accessible. Try the three Bs and put baskets of books in the bathroom, in your children's bedrooms and at the breakfast table. And you also want to think about advertising. Our children are being advertised to all day long with other forms of media and we can advertise to them too by rotating out their books, by turning books outward so that they can see the fronts and they're visually appealing to them. Um, also think about creating a reading nook for them and how would you do that? Um, think about a comfy place for them to sit with their books, books that you can rotate out, a small light and maybe a small plush toy for them to enjoy cuddling up with while they read a book. Number two, read aloud for 20 minutes a day even if it's broken up. It's been shown to make a difference. 20 minutes a day, read even to babies and continue reading aloud once your children learn to read themselves. Usually that's when reading aloud to our children drops off dramatically and there's also a correlation between that and when many children stop feeling a love for books. So Jim Trelease, who wrote the Read Aloud Handbook, says that it's very important to continue reading aloud even when your children can read on their own. Number three, let them see you read. It's really easy to let that drop off when we have children, especially if you have young children in the house still. But modeling reading is such an important habit and helps instill in them the value of it. If they see you doing it, they'll see that there's an importance to it. Number four, be interactive with your books. How can you be interactive? Well, you might use funny voices. You might make a book into a game. And we have a lot of books that we can do that with. I can give you some ideas for those. You might make your own book um, out of paper. Um, you might act out the story with your children. And also ask questions. That's a way to make it interactive. What do you think will happen next? What did you think about what happened? Uh, how do you think they handled what happened in the story? There are so many ways that you can interact as your child reads, and that helps them gain interest in what they're reading. Now, finally, number five, cater to their interests. So try to find a book that caters to your children's current interests, and uh, that can really help spark a love of reading in a child. Here's another quote from Kira Lynn. She said, helping a child find the book Whichever one it happens to be, the book that will make a difference, the book that starts everything matters. So finding that book that will spark the love in them, it's going to be a different book for every child and you can help find it, I can help you find it, and you'll be on your way to raising a reader. Thank you.